Now, the heaviest I've been was about 295 kgs, so almost tipping the scales at 300. <laughs> so in 2016, I was uh, in and out of hospital. I was going nowhere, wasn't living life. I just felt like, um, yeah, I was um, yeah, just depressed and um, I hated myself. I just uh, didn't want to be seen in public. I could tell he wanted it, you know, I could just see that he wanted it and he kept turning up, he kept turning up. Um, that's the thing about him, he, he always turns up, you know, just like back then. And that's why, you know, I, I really invested a lot of time in him because I could see how badly he wanted it. And he did anything we, we said and we, you know, I asked him to do, he did it. And it was really uh, when he met another guy called Luke. That guy, I reckon he got me back on the wagon after I finished from No, no Excuses series. And then I saw that's when Dave was starting to train him. And then fuck it, every week he was losing like three kgs, four kgs. I want to make sure to work with Luke. And Luke said, yeah, yeah, no, that's just because he wanted someone to train because Dave was just killing him every time. One on one sessions. What did you tell me? And um, how did this all start for you two? Like, briefly, yeah. Uh, well, he, he approached me first. <laughs> <laughs> Phil and I met at, uh, it was Waterley, Waterley Brick Camp. That was about uh, two and a half years ago now. So today I've lost around 140 kgs. Current weight is about 156. And yeah, it's still going, so still a long way to go, but gotta stay on it and keep staying consistent. If I didn't start my journey with BBM and uh, if I didn't meet Dave, um, I don't think I'll be here, to be honest. Everyone uh, who knew me before saw me as just a dude sitting at home on the couch, n n never going out of the house, never going out of the car, really. Like even going to the gas station, I didn't even want to get out and do my gas. My life now with uh, BBM is always on the go. Um, I just feel like a whole new person. I'm always out in public taking boot camps of more than 100 people. I used to be that guy that used to hide in the corner, but now I'm, I'm actually the, yeah, leading boot camps with the, the girls and Dave and everyone else, all the other leaders. You know. So the amazing thing about Phil is that so many people have started their journeys because of Phil. So, you know, they haven't watched my journey necessarily. They've seen me promoting Phil's journey, you know, and, and inspiring. And that's what was another hard thing for Phil is his journey has been documented on my phone, on Facebook, you know, on Instagram. Everything's been documented. So that's a, a it's pretty hard to, to go through because the ups and downs, we're honest, we're real. But so many people have seen that, identified it with, and they said, geez, if Phil can do it, so can I. You know, so many people that are in BBM right now on their journeys achieving greatness because of Phil. You know, and it's, ama it's an amazing story. Just uh, even even looking back at old uh, memories uh, that comes up from Facebook and that, um, it's actually emotional. You know, I could I could still feel the pain that I was in back then, starting up. You know, um, you know back pains, leg, um, you name it. So now it feels good just uh, walking into Kmart and warehouse and even buying the you know skinny jeans that I used to dream of. <laughs> To me, it feels like um, I'm a normal person now, you know, uh, it just feels good to, uh, to walk into a store, you know, at the mall, 
and they'll still have my size. It's a good buzz, um, always being surrounded with the right people, you know. Uh, if one fails, you know, we all uh, lean on each other and just help each other out. It, it feels good, like, um, showing people that, you know, it doesn't matter how big you are, you can, you know, if you actually put your mind to something, you can actually do it, then, um, yeah, just got to keep pushing yourself and um, keep on going. The reason why I want to share my story with everyone is just to help motivate and encourage those out there that think it's too late, you know, all you got to do is just take that first step. Yeah, it's just really to inspire anyone out there, especially our people, you know, our people are always um, shy when it comes to working out. So for everyone out there who's thinking of starting their journey, I encourage you just to take that first step. Don't worry about everyone else. This is your journey. So, you, um, you know, good things take time. You just uh, got to keep on chipping away at it and just, uh, yeah, just staying consistent and uh, make no excuses. <laughs>